This is the narcissist's ultimate karma. When things turn out badly and become less pleasant, the narcissist thinks they can do better. They try to replace you with someone else because they think they can do better. They're trying to gain an advantage over you by doing or having something better. They're trying to keep one step ahead of you as their competitor or opponent by being in a position that is better than your position. They're trying to outperform and outclass you. They're trying to expose and discredit you by revealing your faults to make you look like you're crazy, to make you feel ashamed and embarrassed. But before they're hooking up with someone else, they're making false and damaging statements about you. They're saying horrible things about you to their family and friends, which is why everyone begins to show suspicion and dislike towards you they begin to express disapproval and contempt because the narcissist is dragging you through the mud. They're publicly saying false and bad things that harm your reputation. They're involving you in a difficult and complicated situation. They're making you look like you lack necessary abilities or skills. They're making you look like you're inadequate or insufficient for a given purpose. They're making you look like you're stupid and foolish. Like you're a waste of their time and you're holding them back. This is how they're portraying you to other people. So now, they have to do as well and be as good as other people expect them to. They have to fulfill an expectation, obligation and principle. They have to act in accordance with everything they said they are. To show everyone that you are the problem. To show everyone that you are the cause of everything that went wrong. To show everyone why they can't be with you. And their family and friends will be telling them how to deal with the situation. They will be telling the narcissist what to do next. So the narcissist will be seeking out another situation to put themselves in a better position. To outperform and outclass you. To embarrass you by being superior. Because they've already showed you in a bad light. They've already harmed your reputation. So now when they do bad things and they get involved with this new person, no one is going to question them. Everyone is going to jump on the bandwagon. Everyone is going to support their cause. And they will even tell the narcissist that they should have gotten rid of you a long time ago. They will be happy that the narcissist has found someone else. Which makes the narcissist feel stronger. Because they have a support system that they've made false and damaging statements about you too. And everyone is supporting their cause. Everyone is looking at you like you're crazy. But you don't understand why they're doing this. Because when they're around you, they're acting like everything is fine. 
so you never knew that you had any issues. If there was anything wrong, they told you that you would work it out. But behind your back, they're hunting you down. They're tracking you. They're following you like a hound. They're going after you deliberately. They're saying all kinds of horrible things about you. They're making you look like a fool. So when they're ready to move on, no one is questioning them. People are encouraging them to leave you. But when they move on to the next person, they're still thinking that you're this horrible person because that's what has been confirmed by everyone around them. And you may be unaware and uninformed about this, but when they're around their family and friends, they're saying that they're just with you temporarily. They're saying that you've already decided to go separate ways. So when they're going out and flirting with other people, no one is questioning them. No one is questioning if they're dishonorable, untrustworthy or morally weak. Because they've made you appear less important than you really are. They've made your relationship seem less serious. They've made you out to be a bad person. So no one is questioning their behavior outside of your sight. So they find this new person. And they feel like they've been raised to a higher position. They feel like they have something better. So now, they have to show everyone that it's better. They have to change the way in which they acted with you. They have to improve their behavior. Because they've created this image around their family and friends that they were tricked and harmed by you. So now they have to keep this appearance and form of behavior because they told everyone that you were this horrible person. You reduced them to a lower position. You did all of these bad things to them. And that is why they're leaving you. And they're bringing this new person around their family and friends. So now they have to maintain this image. They have to keep it going. So they will cooperate with this new person. They won't behave badly. They will control their emotions because they're trying to make it look good to their family and friends. So they have to let the situation develop because they said that you were a bad person. So now they've got a new one. And this may be someone they met through their family or friends. It may be someone that they already knew. So they have to play the role because otherwise it's going to expose their true identity and motives. It's going to show everyone who they really are. It's going to show everyone that they are the problem. So when you see the narcissist behaving well, when you see them acting differently to how they were with you, it's because they're trying to uphold an image to their family and friends. Because maybe they were hooked up with someone new, someone who is supposed to be better than you based on all of the negative things they said about you.
they're trying to impress not only this new person, but also their family and friends. They're trying to sell this image that the only reason why things weren't going right for them is because they were with you. So now that they've got this new person, they can succeed and do better. So they will be careful and not take risks. They will behave well. They will do all of the cooking and cleaning. They will be completely over the top. They will put in a lot of effort with this new person because they know that it will sell this image. So they will stop playing games. They will stop flirting with other people. They will expose themselves to being hurt because when they're flirting with other people, it protects the weak part of their character. It gives them the advantage. But the moment they stop entertaining multiple prospects and they try to do right, that is when they expose themselves to the possibility of danger or harm. They could never be open or honest with you. They could never be vulnerable because they had to protect themselves. But when a certain situation presents itself because they always feel like they deserve better, they're always looking for the bigger, better deal and they always think the next thing is going to be the answer to their prayers. They will even give in to someone who has different opinions. They won't flirt with other people. They won't fool around. They won't play games. They will try to do right. But little do they know that some of their family and friends are backstabbers. So they're around bad people that they admire and respect, that they're taking advice from, people who are giving them all of the wrong advice, people who have chosen the path of confrontation rather than cooperation. So they're around greedy and inconsiderate people who have hooked them up with someone and this is the narcissist's ultimate karma. The narcissist looks up to their family and friends. So they're assuming that who they're being hooked up with is a better deal. They can stop fooling around. They can trust this person because they feel that their family or friends would never hook them up with someone who is wrong or someone who is not good for them. But because all of these people are greedy and inconsiderate, the narcissist will end up with this new person and they will give them all of this cooperation that they never gave to you. This new person isn't getting the arguments and disagreements. They're not getting the battles and struggles. They're not getting the fights. Because now the narcissist is trying to involve mutual assistance in working towards a common goal. But little do they know, they're doing all of this for nothing. They're not trying to play games with this new person, but this new person is getting everything that the narcissist is putting out and they begin to play their game on the narcissist. They're just taking everything that the narcissist has to give. Because now that the narcissist has decided not to flirt with other people and not to fool around, and they've decided to cooperate and create a friendly situation that is free from disagreement, 
now that they feel like they've found a situation where they can do that, they don't have that protection anymore. That protection that came from them entertaining multiple prospects. The narcissist didn't change. They're just using a different character because they're expecting a reward from the situation. But this new person is just leading them on. They're enticing and inducing them to adopt a course and belief when it is unwise and mistaken. They're just giving them a dream to chase. They're telling the narcissist that they've got money. So now the narcissist is putting in all of this effort and they're pushing aside everything that they have to go through because they're thinking that it's going to pay off. But it doesn't. When the narcissist stops playing games, that is when the game is played on them. Because the people who hooked them up with this new person were greedy and inconsiderate as well. But the narcissist wanted to prove a point. They wanted to show that they are right. They wanted to show that they can do something to make you look like you were the problem. To make it seem like you reduced them to a lower grade or level of importance. But they ended up falling in a trap where they had then done that to themselves. They put themselves in a lower position. This is what happens. This is the narcissist's ultimate karma. They stop playing around for a moment and then someone plays them. But you move on. You're no longer unhappy about it. You're no longer controlled or bothered by it. You heal. But what they went through is very harmful to them. It interfered with their ability to perform to their usual standard. And it may take them a long time to recover from that. And now they have to look at you becoming more successful. They have to look at you living your best life. So when all is said and done, they're the one who is left looking like a fool because they acted unwisely. They never got to know you anyway. They were always looking for the bigger, better deal. They were always looking for the next shiny new toy. And when they felt like they had finally found the opportunity, they threw you under the bus. They criticized, blamed and punished you. They cause you to suffer in order to save themselves and gain a personal advantage. But karma never loses an address. What you do to other people eventually comes back to you. They end up getting played in the end. They end up being taken for a fool. They may not learn from it, but it gets to them. It has an effect on them. But they were the cause of their own destruction. They made false and damaging statements about you. They threw you under the bus. And it ended up having the opposite and undesirable effect to what was intended. It put them in a worse situation. They went through all of that and they got nothing in return.
thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at marksurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.